Hello all out there. Welcome to Twyman Creative Insider. I'm your host, Jafandi Kato, and I'm so lucky to be here with Mr. Rick Walls today. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Good to be here. Is it now? It's good to be here next to you. I'm going to start off by asking you, what role do you play in the industry here? I'm a writer, producer, and director. Uh, I've been in the business for 14 years. I have also first AD, been a first assistant director mm -hmm. on something like 25 feature films. Wow. And what's that like? First AD is, uh, it's a great position. I really love it because you, you're scheduling and you're in charge of the, the business of running the set. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell the directors I work with, I run the set, you run the vision. And running the crew, getting everybody in position to, to do what we have to do to make, to tell the story mm -hmm. on that day. Right. And, um, it's, it's, always, it's been a very good learning board for me to become a director. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure. So a lot of delegating with the AD. The, the AD has to um, basically explain the vision of, from the director. He's a conduit of information mm -hmm. and uh, his communication is the main uh, function of the AD. He communicates what the director wants mm -hmm. to the rest of the crew. And it's not only the shot that we're doing now, it's then what are we doing next? I have your resume here in front of me, so I'm going to start by saying he is not lying. He has several feature films. He's directed, uh, segment director, producer, you name it, he's done it. Um, where can we find your work? Um, there's a lot of work that I've done that's in the video stores. Okay. Uh, PBS plays a lot of, uh, especially my uh, docudrama that I've done. And, and what was um, that entitled? It was called Elevated, The Blunt Truth. Okay. It was an award-winning documentary, um, and what we did was we fused uh, documentary interviews with uh, kids who are addicted to marijuana in the inner city, and we went to rehab centers up and down the East Coast that are specifically for marijuana as a gateway drug, and we fused their interviews, their very candid, open interviews, mm -hmm. with a storyline that we created, so it was a docudrama. And uh, PBS has shown it. We've gotten airplay on MTV and, and overseas. Got to check that out. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, so how did you get started in the business? Well, my background is in law, and I like to tell people that um, I was tired of the uh, duplicitousness and backstabbing and questionable moral and ethical choices you had right. to make in law. Mm -hmm. So I came to show business. <laughs> where it's so much better. <laughs> where, where, where it's not as much. Um, I started off in Philadelphia. I was... Um, I was in law, working in the corporate world, and I got disillusioned with it. I took a year off and I traveled, I wrote, I went to some seminars, and then I came back and I was doing security. And the first gig I had was as security, uh, as a bodyguard for Denzel Washington in the movie Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So being on set every day, working on that, uh, and, and Denzel was very generous with his you know, instructions and, and right. just uh, advice. I got to talk to Tom Hanks and Jason Robards and, you know, Oba Baba Tunde, who I had known. And after that part of it was over, um, I got to spend a couple of weeks as Jonathan Demme's, you know, assistant. And Jonathan mm -hmm. Demme basically told me how to direct. From Philadelphia, I met Garrett Brown, who invented the Steadicam, who talk, talked about moving wow. shots and, and everything like that. And then I met Night Shyamalan, and I worked on a couple of films with him. And I just, I realized that this business is what I really was looking right. for my whole life. It's just the energy about it, right? You it's the feel, energy, it's and it's great. yeah, it does, and it, and you tell stories. That mm -hmm. was the whole thing is telling stories, and I realized very early on that um, there's certain places that I walk on and I feel comfortable. I feel mm -hmm. like I know, like I can be in that place. Um, it was basketball when I was younger. The first time I picked up ball, I knew, oh yeah, I love the this sport. The next one was law. When I walked into the courtroom, I felt very comfortable there, mm -hmm. but I have never felt anything like when like I walk this. on a movie set. Yes. Yeah. Like you when know. I'm in front of a camera. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I love it. I love it. Um, so what motivates you? Uh, I have a very strong spiritual sense. Yes. And that, that is uh, what I use uh, during the good and the bad times of my course. spirituality. And also the fact that I've been blessed to, be, to learn a lot and to be able to apply that knowledge. And I just know that I can make movies. I can tell these stories. So I'm always motivated to stay in the business and try to fulfill that. Story. Yeah. Yeah. To me it's not just about telling a story, it's telling a story that impacts 
someone's life, you know? Just like the documentary you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. yeah, and the thing is that movies in all genres have, have impacted people's lives. Right. I mean, when you, when you talk about the movies that made us filmmakers, you know, a lot of people with Star Wars, a lot of people with right. this and that. And there are movies that I looked at and I went, oh yeah, I want to tell that story. Right. You know, right. How, how did that guy enthrall me? Mm -hmm. So. Nice. Now, um, what is your pet peeve? Everybody has a pet peeve. When you're on set, you're sitting there like, I wish, mm -hmm. you know, what is yours? I actually, that's a very good question. I have two major pet peeves. I mean, things that will literally, uh, you know, I have to call upon everything I have to, uh, to, to, to not <laughs> to react. Simmer down. <laughs> um, the first one is uh, people in the industry who can, who have the ability to green light interesting, different, and sometimes um, controversial mm -hmm. uh, pieces. Uh, they can green light it, they can make sure that it's paid for, they can make sure that it gets out there. And they don't, because I don't know if it'll be a blockbuster, I don't know if it'll open to 25 or 30, you know, right. and this and that, and they sit on the fence. Um, the other, and, and it, just, it just bothers me when you, when you see the amount of movies that, that are good, that are positive right. and that just never, never were made. able to uh, to make it because it wasn't a franchise movie. It right. wasn't, you know, the twelfth sequel in, in a bad yeah. comedy. And but my major pet peeve, my major one <laughs> is when you have people who are film ignorant. I'll say uh, that that don't know the business, that yeah. that that don't understand what what the business is about, but they have the ability to make a project. So right. they hire people like me, mm -hmm. they hire people that, that know the business, and they don't let us do our thing. Uh. They try to tell me what you can't do in film and what you don't do, and I don't want to do that. And I'm going, you hired me for my, right. for my experience, for my expertise, right. let me do my thing. And I think people should learn the craft, understand the business, take a chance, listen to the old heads, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and then take that knowledge, and on your next film, you'll be a little bit more knowledgeable right. and you can maybe do things your way. Right. The question is whether or not you want to make a film or make a project or be a filmmaker. Right. And there's a difference. And please explain to our audience what the difference is. If you want to make a film, then make a film. You just you, you do it and you show it among your, your friends and, and it passes down. It's a nice little home movie. If you want to be a filmmaker, then there's a process in which you look at this film and it leads to your next film and it leads to your next film. Do you want to tell a story and tell different stories and find different stories and make this part of your life, or do you want to make a movie? You make one movie, that's fine. You know, right. just you just need to be honest with what you want to do. Right. Great advice. Great advice. Um, let's see. Where can we contact you if um, anyone out there has any questions or would like to know some more about what you produce and directed? How how would we contact you? Um, my company has a website. It's called Argo Entertainment. Um, I am a partner with my wife, uh, Donique Patton, who's been Aww. in the business actually longer than me. So she's, a, <laughs> she's a script supervisor and a producer and a brilliant writer. And our company is uh, ArgoEntertainment.biz. Okay, ArgoEntertainment.biz. Yes. Yes, well, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you very much. And I thanks for it. tuning in to Twyman Creative Insider. Once again, I'm Jafandi Kato. Thank you, Mr. Rick Wells. Thank you.